Oof, man, it's kind of cold. What's up, you two? Welcome back to another video on how to do it. Listen, I'm gonna show you something today you may or may not know about, and it's how to replace or how to remove your HVAC blower motor housing as a unit without replacing or removing their dash or doing anything. In fact, it's way simpler than I thought it was. If you ever need to replace your blower motor, let's say, um, or if your impeller wheel in the blower motor gets broken, if you get debris in it, in my case, you'll see why, but if you get debris inside the blower motor, what happens is it breaks the impellers and it gets out of balance and wobbles and it doesn't blow air. So a lot of times you need to take the blower motor out and actually just replace the impeller. Or if you're in my situation and you need to clean it, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. It's super simple. Um, stay tuned and I'll show you right now how to do it. All right, so on my little 79 four cylinder coupe here, if you go back and watch the reveal video, I do talk briefly about how whenever you first buy these cars, always check underneath the cow area to make sure they're, you know, it's well, one, it's rust free because you've got rust in the cows, it's really hard to fix. But you definitely want to check underneath here, make sure the rust is, you know, not really bad or just make sure there's no rust underneath the cows. Or in my case, it was stuff in it. I could see looks like nest kind of poofing in it. So I took the cow off before I purchased it and we pulled what was a rat's nest out of here. So what I discovered was the rat and <laughs> what I discovered was the mouse slash rat nest was so bad that it had gone up into the cow area, crawled down into a space here. And the way these work is, this is empty cavity here in your cow. And when water gets in here, it's meant to run off the sides and drain down your fenders here. But there's a section here like almost like a, a, a raised lip so water doesn't get in but it lets fresh air into your hvac system well mice can make their way up into here and they can crawl up in here and make a nest and in my case they went down into the hvac unit and made a nest all into the blower motor housing so i've got to pull it out remove it try to clean it out and see what we can do there and that's what i'm going to show you guys how to do now but i do want to reiterate that whenever you do go out and start looking for a fox body um, check the cows, guys, because you want to make sure there's no rust inside here. Because I'm telling you, this is not a removable panel. You have to cut this out, and once you get into really the bowels of it, you're in, <laughs> you're into a lot of hurt. Um, so in my case, they're rusted, but it's not rusted through. There's no pinholes, and I still have good drain on and off. And I'm really lucky that the mice didn't make it into the interior. They only worked their way into the engine compartment and ate a couple wires, and then um, got to the cow and made a hell of a mess inside the HVAC box. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is just plop in here and open your glove box. And on my car, you take two screws off. There's one here and here, and this is how it is on the 79 to 86 cars. Um, afterwards, you just pinch it, but you wanna take your glove box off first. And after that, it's a simple matter of just finding the screws up on here. There's a screw on the bottom part of the blower housing and then one on the top. The HVAC box, HVAC box, at least on the blower housing, you've got a bolt right here and you've got a bolt right here. And that's gonna be a 7 16th. All right, at least on the uh, seven, uh, 79, should just be two screws and that's it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a mask on because knowing what I was, knowing what I know, and the uh, rats have been living in it, definitely don't want to get this stuff into your lungs, make it sick. All right, so removing the bottom 716 bolt, I've already removed the top. Next thing you want to do is remove the vacuum canister to the blend door. So it just pulls straight up and off like that. All right, so we'll get the screw here. Remove this one right here on the kick panel. Just one is good enough. Pull it out here first, just like this. And then out and then pull down on it like that. All right, man, look at that original sound editing. It's never been removed. Okay, so once you have the 716 nut removed from the bottom stud and the 716 bolt from the top, and you've got the kick panel removed, it should give you enough room to start wiggling the box over to the right away from the unit. Now make note right here on later model Mustangs, sometime after 79, my 86 has two plastic tabs here instead of one. So you'll have two uh, 716 nuts to remove and not just one. So there'll be three total on yours most likely. So it takes a little bit of wiggling and once you kind of get it started, you'll feel it separate. 
All right, so once you get over to the left, it should just drop down. Now make note, you'll have a connection on the back for the blower. You'll want to disconnect that. But oh my God, look at the mess inside of this thing. There's no doubt. And I can tell you right now how bad this thing smells. <laughs> Dude. So you can see why I've been having problems. Now mine has a ground wire that goes up to the uh, kick panel. So there's a blower motor separate to the um, separate to the, mo the motor itself, and there's also a ground wire. So you have to disconnect those before taking it out. All right, just realized the sound was disconnected from my microphone. That's awesome. Love when that happens. I have nothing but sound issues lately. But anyways, it's just two bolts, guys. There's one here and one on that bracket right there. Unplug the vacuum diaphragm, undo the, uh, the ground, and now the blower motor comes out. So you can now replace the blower motor itself if yours is out, or in my case, the turb, um, see, the wheel is so busted up that it's not gonna blow any air. So that's why we had to remove it. These right here had to be replaced, and luckily they make this. LMR sells a metal one, you can replace this, or you can go to a junkyard and get a new OE plastic one, which is what I'm gonna do. And uh, now you can see in here, just how much stuff there is in the box. So hopefully we want to take all this out. Looks like we probably will. I don't know how far up that nest goes, but it's pretty nasty. So I'm going to get to it. All right, so I'm going to try to pull all this stuff out. It is so disgusting. I guess the best we could do is get the shot back in here. All right, so I'm kind of just using this brush here and uh, getting some of this junk out from the AC evaporator. Luckily, the AC evaporator is where the nest stops, looks like, because the evaporator looks like it takes up this entire section of the box here. So as the AC is airflow is sucked through it, no matter where you plan on going, it's going to pass through the AC evaporator which is good um, it means it didn't get through anywhere else to the system and if it did you would know I would have seen it in ducts you know and the ducts are clean from I can tell but you see there's still some nasty dust in here so yeah good times but you can see it's looking a lot better I'll show you here real quick okay Yep, so it's getting there. All right, so I've gotten back from my local pick and pull, if you will, for extra Mustang parts. Had to my buddy's shop and come back with a complete unit out of a much later uh, model Mustang. And I went ahead and did the same as I did on my car pull off the blower motor assembly. Now, for you later model guys, I'll show you a little bit of difference here. So. Here they are side by side. Here is a 79 and here is an E5 number. So this is gonna be 85. So this is probably how they were from 85 and up. Assuming because the you know the electrical motor connection on my car is gonna look like this versus on this one, you're gonna have a plug. So it's gonna be like this. This is the electrical plug for. So that, that's one difference. Another difference is you'll see you've got one bolt up to the bottom of the dash or the, the HVAC assembly box and on the 85 here and up you've got two so for you later model guys you can do the same thing I did but it'll be three bolts not two you'll have the two here and you'll have the one up here by the dash so otherwise kind of looking these over they seem to be the same you can see that I've attempted to get my flapper motor or flapper out I was even going to attempt to make another one because this is completely rusted out so this is going to go in the trash this is not savable and i was going to build another plate and try to restore the original component but it does smell like pee this rod is in bad shape um and if you can see inside of there you can see that the rats have chewed on the plastic itself so that there's chew marks kind of all around the housing so Long story short, I think it's a best move for me to go ahead and just try to use this one. So what I'm going to do is attempt to put this in the car, and hopefully you'll see the L-shaped bracket for the uh, 
the lower mount for your HVAC box is the same here. You've actually got a mounting hole there and on this side. We're going to see if this lines up to the stud that's in the car. So we're going to test fit this first. This one looks perfectly fine. Um, lower motor assembly is in there. Everything's good. Let's flip them over. Look at the back. All right, flipping them over to the back side, you'll see dimensionally they look pretty much identical. Um, this just have a cooler, so whenever this thing's blowing, um, it'll send some air to the fins of the motor. This is a good idea because it kind of helps keep the motor last a little bit longer, so that's a good idea. Um, if there's something wrong with that motor, however, I still have this one. Yeah, so this blower motor would have gone in just like this. So what we're going to have to do, though, is cut these wires and attach it to... Um, this plug here. So the first thing I'm going to do though is before we go this far with, with moving the electrical you know, over and cutting the wires off the original motor is we're going to make sure this assembly box fits. And like I said, everything dimensionally looks the same. The only worry we may have is this tab here. So let's go test fit right now. All right, guys, unbelievably it fit right up. I don't have it tightened, but the existing hole right there, um, it fits and I've got the uh, the nut on it just kind of holding it up. It looks like when I tighten it, um, it might have an issue with this lip. So I think what we may have to do is uh, cut this section off, these these tabs um, off right here, because I don't think it's gonna go up all the way without hitting this right there. So what we're gonna have to do is just kind of trim this plastic back. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it all in make sure that it works now to do that i decided i don't want to cut the harness anywhere and i don't want to cut the original motor for whatever weird reason i just don't want to cut anything up so i'm going to cut the pigtail on the new blower assembly and then what i'm going to do is actually put it on to uh, here with a spade connector so i'll put a spade connector there and then i'll put in a yep o-ring connector there for the ground and then yeah we should be good to go at least for testing the blower motor all right guys I, it's dark out here listen i've got it installed it fit exactly how the old one fit i did have to grind that tab right there um yeah let's check it out that's right that is vince and guess what there's air pouring out of the vents. <laughs> All right, a little squeaky, but it works. All right, so the heater works. And uh, yeah, AC does not work. The compressor's not kicking on, and that's obvious. It's really old, Fine, there's no uh, Freon in it. But the fan works. I'm getting nice, nice air to the bottom of the floorboard. Uh, I'm trying to get my light here, guys, because it's dark. Defrost works. Getting the air up top. Kylo works. Vent is working as well. Oh, yeah. That is hot vent air. And then if we go to normal or max AC, max is what turns on the vent or opens the vent down. In fact, that's the only one. It's really weird you can't put a recirculation on heat on these older cars, but you go to max, it'll open up that vent. That's why it gets so much louder. So, so that's max AC. But I can tell you it's not kicking the pressure on. The engine does nothing, so. But yeah, nice, cool. We get a little bit of mixed air here. No big deal. Just kicking out a little bit of dust. No big deal. <laughs> cool. Job well done. Accomplished. It was a good idea. Go ahead and moving that entire box out. It smelled bad. That rusted piece of metal was just soaked in rat pee and poo smell. Replacing was the best idea. We're probably still getting some smell from the cowl. We're gonna put some Eastwood on that, some uh, rust, rust encapsulator, encapsulator, 
and coat the entire bottom of the cowl here. That'll help that as well. All right, that is going to wrap it up. All right, so I hope you guys watched the video on how simple it is just to remove your blower motor assembly away from the HVAC box without having to do any kind of removal of the dash or even going as far as removing the whole HVAC unit just to get your blower motor. So even if you need to get in there just to clean out maybe your evaporator core or if you need to get in there to replace the blower motor itself or if you want to just clean maybe the impeller wheel or replace the impeller wheel altogether. It's just three bolts and a couple connections and it drops right down. And it also gives you access up into your cowl area in case you do have cowl damage, you wanna be able to get to it. Um, and again, I wanna reiterate real quick, whenever you guys go out and purchase yourself or look for a used Mustang, especially one this old, definitely take care and note the cowl and go ahead and clean out your drain holes down here in the bottom in between the fender and make sure that it's clear from debris so that whenever water gets into the cow area, it can properly drain out of here, not collect, not sit in a bunch of wet leaves and cause um, rust down here or rust inside the cow itself. So you gotta take care of it. Um, this one, we're gonna remove the cow and we're gonna coat it really well with an anti-rust and some sort of an encapsulator to take care of this cow area. Um, like I said, I'll show you to you, it's not bad, it's just surface rust. Um, but that's really gonna be it, guys. Hey, make sure to follow me on Instagram so you get more notifications. I got more material stuff coming out on the 79. I got some stuff showing you guys kind of the future of this car and uh, the progress of it and kind of the plan, right? So I haven't really shared the plan for it yet and what we're doing with it. So work is slow on it now because I'm kind of gathering parts, right? And then once we got all the parts, we're gonna go to town on this car and it's gonna be awesome. So we got that coming. I still have the TKO to put into the 86 back here behind me. That's gonna do it. Follow me on Instagram, make sure to subscribe. And guys, we'll see you next time on House Lula. Take care.